My name is Victoria Power and this is my show, Amorphic Geometry. I came about making this exhibit to show how the human hand touches pieces and makes them imperfect. I originally started this idea when I was throwing on the wheel. Um, I wanted to make sure that I could throw an exact sphere and it was not working properly. So <clears throat> I decided to run with the shapes that I was making. These are some of the orbs that I was trying to make into perfect spheres. Um, this one at the bottom is close, but not quite exact. In the trimming phase, it was really hard, um, or in the throwing phase, it was really hard to tell what I was going to have to take off in the trimming phase. Um, and then after I made the, made the forms, how, the shape I wanted, I added these textures to this piece. Um, every line is different, and that's because the human form, and every, every little part I took out of each piece is different. Um, this one on the top has exact hexagons on it. They look exact, but if you get really close, you'd be able to see that uh, the carvings are not perfect. So I wanted to make a few of these sculptures and I wanted to make them all represent um, my thesis for the show. And so this one, um, you can see on it, is all circle patterns, they're overlaying circles. Um, I just used a circular ring to place over it and I traced it. Alright, so these are tiles that I made. Um, I had a lot of fun with these tiles. I was just taking shapes and forms that I was already using, hexagons and spheres, um, and I was applying them in a more artful manner. I, I really wanted to show how everyday things are um, affected by the math that we use, and they're also handmade, so everything is kind of imperfect. So this one here is <clears throat> um, they're honeybees in a, in a beehive, and beehives are made out of hexagons. And I like the more industrial looking um, aspect of this piece. I wanted to show that any random object could have some sort of mathematic um, reasoning to it. Um, this one was created um, because I found a really cool way to add texture using a tool. Um, it's in the shape of a circle, a little carving tool, and I used it um, kind of like a melon baller to take the clay out. And I, I, thought it, I thought it was kind of a therapeutic feeling just to do that and sit there and carve it. And I came up with this idea and I was able to do it in the inverse coloring also. I really enjoyed trying to figure out patterns that I, how I could connect the pieces together. And for this one, I thought it was really neat that I could pull the hexagon out to make it encompass the next one. And when I did multiples, uh, it came out in a ribbon form. And yeah, what, like kind of industrial looking. Um, these wall decorations <laughs> um, came about after I made the mold to make these bowls. 
um, I wanted to make a geometric formed um, functional pottery and I came up with this design. Um, I wanted to show my geometry and then I put these more whimsical spherical drawings on the inside of them. I hope you enjoyed my show.